So, this is Tanner Tech, and today I'm going to show you a homemade 50 watt flashlight. So I made this flashlight with a few different things. The first thing being this boost converter, which converts the 12 volts from the RC car battery to the 35 volts that this light needs. I added a push button in series to turn this flashlight on and off and as you can see it works quite well. The push button also activates the cooling fan to cool the LED. To control the brightness of the LED I added a potentiometer in series with a potentiometer that was originally in this voltage converter and the potentiometer when it's adjusted it uh, uh, changes the amount of volts that is output from this boost converter. This potentiometer in blue right here is the original potentiometer that came with the boost converter and this potentiometer is the one that I took. I took this potentiometer from an old TV and it is 10 kilo ohms. Now this LED can get quite hot because it is trying to sink 50 watts of heat energy so I had to put a large heat sink on here and a cooling fan now I got both of these from an old rear projection television. This fan keeps it well cooled. So how this is wired, the RC car battery is hooked up with this push button switch and that goes to the input port of the boost converter. Now also wired into the input port in parallel with the battery is the computer fan to keep the LED cool. And the output port go straight to the LED on the outside. Here is a crude wiring diagram of my boost converter circuit. This is the RC car battery and the push button switch that activates the flashlight. The RC car battery is parallel with the cooling fan as you can see. The outputs of the boost converter go straight to the LED. For the adjustment ports it has the two potentiometers in series. I made the whole case out of PVC piping hot glued together. I also used hot glue to install the boost converter, the heat sink, and the fan. The fan is bolted to the heat sink and the LED is bolted to the fan. As a housing for the RC car battery, I used a piece of cardboard wrapped around and I hot glued it to the PVC pipe frame. This RC car battery is 12 volts, which is plenty su to supply the boost converter and the fan. The LED light draws approximately 2 amps along with the fan, which this battery can handle. This is the actual 50 watt LED light. This light is what gets very bright. I have soldered 2 wires to the connection terminals on the side. Those are soldered to the output ports of the boost converter. This is the LED at minimum power, and you can hear the cooling fan. But as I turn up the LED, it soon gets bright, too bright for the camera to see it. So, to show this LED light in action, right now it's a complete low power, but as I turn it up, it soon illuminates the whole entire yard. This is at full power. As you can see, the whole entire yard is completely illuminated. But this is the highest brightness that the flashlight can go. As you can see, this area goes from complete pitch black to super bright when I turn on the LED light. Thank you for watching.